So um, the idea is to go and forage for some more wood. Um, I mean, I've got some wood here already. It's piled up and a bit there. That's, you know, but that, that'll get used pretty quick. And also I just wanted to give you a, a little tour. Now, the problem with collecting the wood is that it's inside this massive forest, which is part of my property, but um, it's all very overgrown and you kind of struggle to get into it at the beginning. But once you're in, it's relatively clear in the undergrowth, or at least you can walk most of the way. But here we've got this, where I'm walking right now was, was a tree that fell down. I'm gonna try and give you a a slightly wider look at it from a different angle but so I'm inside the forest sort of now so over there this line that you can sort of see there that was a tree that fell which I've chopped up and over here it's really hard to tell on video but there's another giant tree that's collapsed um, you can see Okay, you see these branches here that's not quite collapsed um, it's part of like a tree that broke off a piece so those are like kind of dead branches but below it here this mass is actually a big tree trunk that's covered in other foliage there it is and this is definitely a dead tree you can sort of see let me see if I go under here there you can sort of see that arch that's all part of the same tree that like fell down and if you look a little bit above there there's another mess of uh, half dead trees and so on so this is one of the closer ones and just below it you'll see that there's another dead log there's already like two trees below it that have fallen earlier so there's a lot of wood here that's um, definitely dead wood <clears throat> but it's just you know getting in here getting a chainsaw in here cleaning off the uh, the creepers that have grown on it and uh, and then there's a massive amount of wood and that's just one tree and there's like several I'd say there's probably like a dozen trees in this forest that have fallen down that I've seen so there's probably more some like you know old ones or covered up ones that you can't see properly because other things grown on it so um, there's definitely enough wood here for some years and as you can see I'm inside a mm -hmm. forest canopy there's a little little bit of space sky but otherwise it's pretty you know covered and uh, well it's not particularly clean but you can see you know you can walk in the on the ground here of course then when you get a, a giant like this that falls down in the forest and gets covered up by vines um, then it gets difficult and of course the devil plant is everywhere this bramble and let me show you up close see those little thorns they stick on everything they grab hold of everything and they don't let go even, even after you cut them off and they die at the root they uh, they're still a pain so it, like here's a dry one and if you walk through that, it's just going to sting you and go through your clothes and everything. So you kind of got to watch where you put your feet all the time here. And so that's the forest, oh, one small part of the forest area. Um, there's a really nice tree over here somewhere. There it is, that big one. That creates these uh, sweet brown fruit I don't know what it's called uh, my wife knows I forget the name but anyway it's a, it's a competition between us and the uh, and the pigs and the boar but this year it seems like it hasn't made any last year it was full and I made like 12 jars of jam of the stuff my first attempt here we've got an apple tree which, uh, you know, that it's just the guy who owned this place before was not great about 
was not smart about how to plant things. There's a giant wasp thing. Uh, you know, these are the last of, of the apples that are left, but they're very tasty. Here's a little red one. And uh, I just generally rub it on my clothes to clean it and then munch away. So on this side of the property, there's not as many olive trees, but basically all those olive trees you can see down there, that's all part of the property. And then on the right side, there's more. And it, you know, it goes on quite a ways. They're just so overgrown and so many trees. And I think that's worrying me is this what looks like tall grass but really is bamboo because there's bamboo shoots they're like a weed and it's really hard to get rid of it and uh, you're gonna struggle to you know once it takes hold it just keeps going and keeps making more of itself I uh, don't know if you can yeah you can sort of see those two holes it looks almost like two holes in the grass that's where they the boar like walk through there there's deer here as well and that's uh, my nice plantation of brambles which believe it or not oh my god it's just okay, it's got trees growing on it again like last year I cleared all of this so that all you could see was the uh, the grapes and you need to keep it clear for like a few years and I would have done the same this year, except that uh, you know, I was basically sick in bed for about 3-4 months and not able to really do much. I'm still sort of not 100% back to where I was, but now it's just a matter of like me getting fitter, it's not like me being sick anymore. Although I have injured my back and one of my knees, but you know, that's life. But anyway, this, what, this looks like a hedge of thorns and trees. This is actually a little vine. A small vineyard on here of just two rows but um, yeah it's completely overgrown and the bamboo is starting to like encroach on it which when we first got here um, I don't know if you can see that little tree there that one that's sort of the end of the of the vine and the bamboo was below that now it's you know it's it's definitely encroached to the beginning of the second vine there and uh, I'm not really sure how to go about it. Also, this path here between the two vines, I know you can't see the, the vines, but so there's like one line is there, goes all the way to the top, and the other vine line is here and goes all the way to the top. Now this bit in the middle here, this had been completely chewed up to like bare earth by my very cool neighbor with his tractor. Um, you can see what it's like now. I'm basically walking through jungle <laughs> with brambles because the devil plant is everywhere. And look how quickly, I mean, this stuff was gone. You know, th there was no brambles left here at all. And uh, not even within a year, as soon as it rains, these things just come back out of the ground. Like, I don't know, like I said, it's a devil plant. But, um, uh, yeah look there's still actually a couple of grapes on there so i'm gonna they're feeding the bees and stuff there's a huge like wasp there i don't know if you can see it there a giant insect you don't want to get stung by those they kind of sting and uh yeah so it's sort of there's a couple of grapes buried by this devil plant let me see if i can pick out a couple of them these are very sweet grapes by the way they're really nice so i don't know how by myself but um, with any luck i will have some of the crusaders come to help me at some point and uh re-clear this whole thing because just from a little bit of clearing of the grapes it's uh, there you know it, it had it had nothing on there and then when we cleaned it we got a couple of grapes in there this is uh, one of the old olive trees the big ones 
which I've managed to prune a few of them like down to here but again you see what happens is you've got a almost clean area of olive trees where we've like managed to clean up but if you leave it for a few years then it becomes that like that that thicket that you see there and then it becomes overgrown with brambles and all sorts of stuff and you just can't get through it anyway I'm heading back towards the uh, the house now and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see a piece of it up there but when I first got here uh, actually not when I first got here it was a while after I got here maybe like six months in or something I brought a Venetian flag which has been in the wind since and is looking a little bit like myself somewhat worse for weather it was a, a really cheapo flag that I got in Venice um, a decent flag that's wind resistant is about 60 euro or so so uh, I don't know I might put one up for Christmas or something we'll see how that goes anyway that's the view, a small view of part of the Kurganet for today. Hope you enjoyed it.